In the outskirts of our galaxy, a relic from the ancient progenitor civilization has surfaced. And I fear what could happen if it fell into the wrong hands. Some say heroes aren't born. Heroes are made. I guess cliches exist for a reason, because our hero is just in the making. Bob, how is our test subject doing? Oh, well, look who's awake, our little thief. Are you really so stupid as to think you could steal from the great CRT? Heck, I'm not even sure how you're still alive after that gruesome reconstruction. But hey, I'm not complaining. Once your brand new arm's complete, you'll be able to sucker punch people into orbit, baby. Now, if all this sounds a little strange to you, it's probably because I've started removing your memories. I know, I know. A tad extreme, but that's just how I roll. Can't let you keep that pesky free will of yours, can we? Okay, <laughs> bye now. Installation complete. This was a rather unfortunate turn of events, although you no longer remember said events. Hmm. Stand by. Initialize kinetic weapon system. It would seem that you have a much greater role to play, Skylar. Let's get you out of here. Splendid. You seem to be fit as a fiddle. Now, I am more than a regular arm. Use me to punch through those boxes. Wait, how did you get out? I mean, I see you're uh, taking a stroll. Don't bother jumping those containers, though. It's not like you can jump twice in the air or something. What? Bob? You never told me she was gravity-defying. I'm terribly sorry, sir. I, I should have known. Try my other function on this swarm. The spin attack. The spin attack also functions as a triple jump while in the air. Oh, so you slapped around Dave and Steve. They were useless anyway. Alright, end of the road, you rascal. You can't get through here. Ah, shrimp sticks. I blame you, Bob. I blame you. Step on red buttons to activate all manner of mechanisms. Wing nodes, use your grappling. Bob, what do those things even do? She's getting away. You're forcing my hand here, kitten. Time to wake up our little friend. End of the line, kitty cat. <laughs> Get her! Ah, dang it, you imbecile. You complete Now's your chance, Kyla. Escape. Brace for impact.
Who are you? This is Skyla. Whoa, you got a talking arm. That's neat. Greetings, feathery friend. Greetings, you guys. I'm Plux, and these islands are my home. Mi isla es su isla. Delighted to make your acquaintance, Plux. But we have urgent matters to attend to. Skyla, if you wish to regain the memory CRT erased, you must find the progenitor structure called the siphon. And oh, I think I know what you're talking about. The islanders always jam about that thing. It's some huge, ancient-looking thingamajig, right? That, uh, sounds just like it, I guess. Can you take us there? I know these islands like the back of my wing. So let me show you the way. Now, I know felines don't like getting wet, and your mechanical arm is far too heavy for you to be swimming. So watch out for large bodies of water. Note to self, keep kitty cat out of water. Kindly release me from this cage. If you don't have enough gems, there should be a few boxes nearby that are full of them. Oh, thank you, young one. And thank you, two plucks. Hey, don't sweat it. But what in the name of funk is going on? A terrible calamity has struck our island. And he calls himself the CRT. His greedy attempt to deconstruct the siphon broke it apart, and I can feel the life force of this moon seeping away. It's an ancient progenitor mechanism powered by three fuses. As the CRT stole one of them, the other two returned to their original places of creation. On the highest point of the island. In the seed lost in time. And the stolen one is kept in a fortress of steel. He has imprisoned my people, the Loar, trying to extort us into revealing the Fuse's locations. Oh, please, if you find any of my children, break open their cages just like mine. And for the trouble, I will increase your health. So if you ever feel weak and beat down, remember to come and talk to me. That sure seems like a tall order. I'm sure you'll do fine, Skylar. Pleasure meeting you. Plux, I know you haven't embraced Clover Island as your home, and I understand that. 
but it needs you now more than ever. What? Me? You know this island, so you must guide Skylar on her journey. I guess I know my way around. Sure, if you say so, jelly beans. Very good, my friends. And Skylar, let Clover Mountain be a trial of your courage. Best of luck to you both. You seek to reconquer what CRT stole from you, yes? Only the siphon will allow that. But without the fuses, it remains broken. Your journey begins at the foot of Clover Mountain. been soaring around this place for years. Finding that fuse should be a piece of cake. Let's not be away for too long. I'm waiting for my papa to come and get me. He'll be back any day now. metal stuff wasn't here before. We'll have to get around it somehow. Hey, look! There's a thingamajig straight ahead. Let's see what it is. You found the jetpack. It allows you to hover through the air, rocket jump to high places, 
and rocket roll over your enemies. Remember, keep an eye on your energy meter. Once a thief, always a thief. Ain't that the truth, huh, pussycat? Well, fine. It's just a prototype anyway. Probably just gonna break it like you do everything else. And who's that talking through your arm anyway? Bob? Is it supposed to do that? Uh, I'm not entirely sure, sir. Then what am I even paying you for? You're not actually paying me, sir. Oh, right. <laughs> Silly me. I love this place. It's so soothing and easy on the eyes. I think the words you're looking for are chaotic and uh, hideous. No! What's your deal, man? My deal? This pathetic island is my deal, Pigeon. As in, I own it. I'll turn this wilderness into something more productive. You can't! No? That's exactly what those pesky natives said. Now look where they are now. <laughs> uh, anyway, tell me when you and Kitty Cat are done sulking and ready to get to work. Whatever he's got planned, it can't be good. We really do have to do something, don't we? Ah, so we gotta find two more of these.
Push for this sucker. Burn, baby, burn. You won't get away with this. 
this. <laughs> Watch me. This is a teleportation station. Activating them will let you teleport between other activated terminals. my winter plumage. here when I was little. Well, littler. I'd look up at the sky, wondering if Papa was out there somewhere, on his way back. for someone without wings, you must be really brave. Or really stupid. I mean, I'm not sure what you're even trying to do up there. I mean, well, once I sent Steve to reach the top just for kicks, right? Forgot him up there for like two weeks. You should have seen his popsicle face when he finally blew down from there. <laughs> um, anyway, 
Is that your individualistic dream now, kid? To become a feline popsicle? What did you like to know, bozo? Bah. Well, have fun, you two. Don't freeze your butts off. Or do. Either way, they're mine. Uh, your butts, that is. Uh, see ya. We wanna be ya. Done with it. With all due respect, sir, I think she's worth more to you alive. We can see her now in some kind of glove and- Shut up, Bob! I've got it! If we seal her power in some kind of glove, she could become some kind of super weapon! I, uh... Very good, sir. Quite genius, indeed. I know, Bob. Make the preparation. This kitty cat is getting a new paw. That was pretty impressive, buddy. Let's go talk to the Elder. Well done, young one. Yet this is but the beginning of your journey. To find the next fuse, you must venture to the forlorn desert. Only the wise shall gain entry to the domain of the progenitors. Good luck. You have shown great kindness, Skylar. To reward you for your hard work, I have increased your health. Uh, this place gives me the creeps, Skylar. Old Blue Stuff always told me not to come here. I guess this is an emergency, right? Sandbox Fun Time Land. Now with the old and with the new. That's what my papi always said. Well, what he actually said was uh, that I was useless, but uh, yeah. I'll prove him. Well, that explains a lot. Anyway, you stretch your legs plenty now. You got yourself a pet bird. There's really nothing else to see here. Just some uh, crusty old ruins that are impossible to get into. I mean, trust me, I've tried, and I mean, I'm pretty smart, right, Bob? Oh, certainly, sir. Quite so.
on destroying all my hard-working robots. We'd get all this done quicker if you just worked with me. They're all attacking us, you bucket of bolts. They're attacking you in self-defense. Right, Bob? <laughs> Oh, right. No one ever comes here. The Elder said this place was cursed. Or was it sacred? I, uh... I wasn't really paying attention. I tried to get the natives to talk, but they were no help at all. So, uh, now they're enjoying a well-earned timeout in cages. Just in. Sunny smile owls now. Sure hope Papa doesn't come back to get me while we're still away. No, I know. Bigger things are at stake here. Let's keep going. Analysis complete. Time orb obtained. Created by the progenitors, this ancient relic will slow down the flow of time when ejected with energy. Upon activating a time pedestal, it sustains a sphere that accesses an ancient point in time. That platform is spinning way too fast. What about that time slowing thing?
Jack is just asking to get punched down from here. If we go to the other ledge, we could get that time pedestal down, too. Would you look at this dingus? Hey! Your big head is blocking the way! Wonder if it fell down at some point. If only we had a time pedestal close by. Here, let's punch it down. Look at you, desecrating away. I'm almost proud of you. Almost. Cool. We can go to the past down here now. See if we can push it around. Think about how long ago it's been since someone cleaned up this place. It sure stinks. Oh, it's a slippy slide puzzle. You got it, Skylar. Almost there. I wonder what they were like. These progenitor dudes. I mean, how come they had time-shifting technology and still wanted to live in these stony abodes? Straight up weird, man. Oh, this thing has seen better days.
another spatula. I'm getting sacral vibes in here. That doesn't look like it's doing too well. You think you can jump on the tree to get to the next level? This ain't no walk in the park. If only we can get one of the blocks right next to the glowing tile. Almost there. Great job, Skylar. I'm proud of you.
Whoa! That thing is B E A beautiful! And I bet it would make a sweet pad, too. Let's climb. Straight to the top, baby. she's still alive when my minions exploded by just touching that fuse thing. I'm afraid I don't have a clear answer, sir. From the looks of her, she's just a low-life thief trying her luck. They call the Curians the most advanced species in the galaxy, and they built you? Correct, sir. However, I possess limited knowledge of progenitor artifacts since they've been missing for thousands of years. Yeah, or... yeah, it doesn't matter. Soon enough, she won't be anyone anymore. <laughs> going pretty swimmingly, if I do say so myself. CRT ain't got nothing on us. You two are way bigger losers than I am. You were nothing but a thief before I found you, catnip. And you, birdseed, you were too lazy to intervene before your friend showed up. You choose now to do so? <laughs> you two are nothing but a layabout and a scoundrel. Bravo, slow clap. Bob, hang up dramatically. <laughs> Fantastic, young one. Now only the stolen fuse remains. It lies within CRT's citadel. It will be a true test of your power. Good luck. decided to join the party. And by join, I mean crash! This is my turf, kitten, and I can't remember inviting you. Your turf? There used to be a village here, and hot springs, and... And now there ain't, pigeon. Cause it was in my way. I appreciate the true potential of this island, unlike the rest of you dinks. This used to be a lovely little brook with the clearest water on the island. Now look at it. It's a freaking travesty. Hey, you keep your filthy paws to yourself. That's not a toy. 
Well, uh, it is, but it's my toy. Wow, just looking at the thing seems to take him off. Looks like we're onto something. Tumor. It allows you to hold and throw magnetic objects like enemies, missiles, and the crushing ball. I don't remember copying small Valkyrian junk. Mom, did you make that? Uh, yes, sir. I did for uh, directing the crushing ball. Huh. That's very useful. Except that Robocat and Beakface here just stole it. Ah! Thank you, Bob.
I mean, it's almost like you threw together a couple of conveyor belts, hammers, and lasers, just hoping something would pop out.
Let's crash this party. Oh no, please do. It's not like I've spent countless resources and sleepless nights watching my minions build this place. Ha! So long, you punks. You see, I tricked you into this big hole. It was all part of my plan, you big dum-dum. Uh, have fun drowning in lava! <laughs> I highly doubt that even has a plan. Oh well, there's only one way forward. Let's roll! He's not coming back, and I know that now. But I'm moving on. What are you running from, huh? It's like you're stuck in a whamster wheel, going on and on about destiny all the time. Ah, whamsters. A proud race of fearsome conquerors, I've heard. Cute little furballs who take themselves way too seriously, I've heard. Well, what do you know? could be. Haven't seen a trace of it. Oh, that reactor doesn't do anything important. It's just a uh, decoration. Really? I, hey, don't even think it. Are you thinking it? You maniacs! You blew it up! Ah, oh, dang you! Gosh dang you all, you smell! Hello? The lava's rising. Guess this is it for Mr. Crushing Ball. Thanks for everything, but we gotta get the funk out of here. Why did I build this on an active volcano? 
Everything I've worked for was all for nothing. Just nothing. I might as well have found an outhouse for a night. Ball, it made it. Let's rock and roll. This is the final stop for the crushing ball. One last lava bath. Bye! Whoa! It's the fuse! It was inside the crushing ball all along! I have a confession to make. I should have told you this much earlier. That you're Bob? But how did you know? What? I thought we all knew that. Uh, except for CRT, of course. Well, in any case, there is something very important I must tell you about CRT. He is not what you think he is. CRT is a master. <laughs> CRT's a what? Hey, Bob! You there? Reception, I guess. I wonder what he wanted to tell us. Well, in the meantime, let's check up on the Elder. My friends, you did it! Life is returning to the island, and the siphon seems to be stronger than ever before. You're welcome, Jelly Beans. As a token of my gratitude, I anoint you both honorary members of the Loar. This is it, Skylar. We saved the island. Well, what's left of it, anyway. Ha! <laughs> to think we'd be heroes. Oh, is that what you think of yourselves? <gasps> Gasp, indeed. Skylar! Heroes? For doing what? Destroying other people's hard work? Toying with others' destinies? Your butt is grass. An equisacious little featherball. I finally get to make a pillow out of you. <laughs> Sounds like someone found a dictionary. Maybe I did. Perhaps while I'm strangling you, you could try and see things from my point of view. I, I mean, I've never had a choice. Conquering is my fate. I'd like to see things from your perspective, cranky pants, but I can't get my head that far up my butt. <laughs> Always the wise guy, huh? I try. Not wise enough to save the traitorous little Bob, are you? Do you think I never knew he was helping you dorks all along? Do you really think I'm some kind of idiot? Yes, yes we do. Well, the joke's on you. 
Actions have consequences. You think you've saved this planet? You doomed it. You succeeded where I failed. The siphon is now complete. And guess what? Now this happens. You see what happens, Skylar? You can't escape what you are. I'm gonna weaponize this sucker, and the first thing I'll do is scorch this sorry moon, and I'll start over from scratch. And it's all thanks to you. See ya! What a what a ba 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 ya! Ah, heck no! Let's bust his bolt, Skylar! Welcome back to my humble abode. Did you get homesick? Predictable. Don't know what to do without your deceitful friend, Bob, huh? Well, he got you right in my tr- Well, see, this is why I'm going to win. I don't need friends. I don't need anyone. Once I've drained the siphon, even my father will fear me. He said I'd never amount to anything, Dad. Well, look at me now! Wow. Skylar, this dude needs a hug. But first, kick his butt. Looks like you finally found your way home, kitten. It's time for you to meet your maker. <laughs> It's really come down to fisty cuffs, huh? All right, pussy cat, let's dance. Hmm, Skylar Links. Age? Who cares? Swipe left. You trying to tickle me or something? Didn't feel a thing. Rings. It ain't over till a chubby lady sends, parrot. Not as long as I can do this. Dang. Wrong button. Uh, can we pretend this didn't happen? You gotta be kidding me. No evil robot overlord jazz? You're just... this? I'm a webster. All I've ever had was this Valkyrian station and its AI. Bob. And it's not even his real name. I just started calling him that. I used him, and now he's gone. And CRT, that's just a big, fat lie. Why? Why would you do all this, man? I never had a choice. 
I never asked to be the son of a dictator, to be cold-hearted and cruel. Things are expected of me. Wait, back up. Who are you? I am Tiberius Julius, the heir to the Wemsterian Empire. Whoa, so you're like a prince? No more. This was my last chance. I've been nothing but a failure and a laughing stock for my entire life. And unless I conquered a planet, the father said I'd be exiled forever. Wow, that's pretty rough. Look, I get how it feels to be left alone, but you do have a choice. You never have an excuse to be a complete butt and destroy other people's lives. I needed to prove myself. I figured people fearing me would be better than people ridiculing me. But now, I'm all alone in this galaxy. That's not true, sir. Bob! Hey, you're alive! You've never had to prove anything to me, sir. <sighs> and you're not alone, sir. You have friends all around you. Really? Of course, dude. But you have to promise to fix everything you mucked up down on Clover Island. I guess. I, I mean, yes, definitely, of course. I do hate to be the proverbial party pooper, sir, but it seems that the cipher you extracted is rather disagreeing with being separated from its moon. It's pulling us into the atmosphere. What? Well, that's just great. Not too great, I'm afraid, as this station wasn't designed for landing. Expecting a hull break in 10. Oh, no. What are we gonna nine, do? Hold on, guys. Eight, seven, this might get bumpy. Six, no, wait. That's five, not it. Uh, four, I swear, I had something for this. Two. One. <laughs> oh. oh, what year is it? <sighs> Did I do good? Impressive stunt, sir. Quite brave indeed. <clears throat> is it too late to pretend like uh, I knew this was going to happen from the start? I think it is. Far too late, sir. But that was the raddest ride of my life, dude! You saved us! I've got a warmish feeling in my chest. Is this what friendship feels like? Yeah, dude! Sip it all in! This is amazing! But what if my father finds out about all this? Hey now, let's burn that bridge when we get to it! And that's how our hero was made. It all worked out pretty well in the end, didn't it? CRT finally let go of his shackles thanks to his new friends and could truly be himself. Plux learned that the world moves on with or without you and that doing nothing ultimately achieves nothing. Skylar defined what she was told to be for what she wanted to be. And with all these cliches, it's only fitting to say that it seems like they all lived happily ever after.